hand because I was going to lift my arms up. Hello, everybody. Michael's making me some tea because I started coughing before the stream and I still feel like coughing. I'm just holding it. Hello, Basil Cat. Fair, hello, and Michelle. Welcome. Today is going to be an interesting and fun stream because we're going to be making a movie. A mini movie, right? Because it's not like a legit movie and it's an Animal Crossing movie. But still, I think it's a lot of fun. And I'm happy you guys are interested. Make sure it's not mint. Oh, okay. Thank you. I don't think we have mint. Michael has like really fancy tea because he, he's a tea expert. But I'm so excited too. As we wait for more people to like roll in. Hi, Lavender Sharky. Welcome. I was about to show you guys what just came in the mail today. And I'm really uh, happy about it. I completely forgot too. But I don't know if y'all saw in Libby's stream how I sent her a Ray Bear from <laughs> Build-A-Bear. So my Build-A-Bear just got here. Michael was like, look, a package. And I was like, what the heck's in it? And it's a bear. The bear is naked right now because I was saving this for you guys. But it's a bear. And it's going to be our Halloween bear. So I pitched the name Hallow Bear. But if y'all have a, a a better name, we can we can negotiate that in the chat. So I'm going to put the bear, naked bear, right here. Can you show them the costume? No, not yet. I'm about to. A build a bear. Yes, you guys. And look at the costume. Fair is the best with spoopy names. Perfect, Fair. You can help. Look. Epic Bear. It's got, it's a little pumpkin. And it's got a little pumpkin hat. Isn't it so cute, Basil Cat? I got it an, as an ad on Instagram. And you know what? I welcome ads if they help me make good purchases. So. <laughs> And on the way to checkout, you know where they recommend you items? Don't cry or I'll cry with you. <laughs> but look at the last item it recommended for my bear. It's a mask. So my bear can be safe while we, we stay inside. <laughs> Bro, Instagram ads have got me more than once, right? No, they're getting really good. So, and then there's just papers in there, but... Let's dress up my bear <laughs> while we wait. So, right, fair? Isn't it funny? I like, I was crying. I was just like, yes, of course I want a mask for my bear. Duh. I don't want my bear to get corona. No, not here. Not here. So let's take out all these tags. I don't know why. They should have taken off the tags for me. This is the content I signed up for, right? Let me see if I could lower the camera for the Build-A-Bear. Move, Mike. Get out of this shot. So here's the bear. And let's put on the <laughs> Nicole read the Velveteen Rabbit and learned from it. I did. I actually really like those. those. Oh, guys, I just made this Velcro, and I'm over here slipping it on. It's okay. It works, though. It works. I love the Velveteen Rabbit, though. Another good rabbit book for kids is, um, I think, The Miraculous Adventure or something of Edward Tullin or Tulane. That's a really good book about a rabbit as well. <laughs> and Peter Rabbit, too. That's funny. So we got the little pumpkin head on. And now let's do the costume. Although I think maybe I should have done the pumpkin head last. Because I probably have to slip this over the head, don't I? I probably do. Uh-oh. Okay. Let's take the hat off. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bear. Because I think we got to slip this over you. You were a big fan of Guess How Much I Love You. I love that one, too. They're so cute. I really like looking back at old, those old children's books. Oh my gosh, my bear has a fat head. <laughs> I'm struggling. Get it over. <laughs> this is abuse. I'm abusing my bear already. Ugh. There we go. We got it over the head. Okay, we gotta get your arms now, buddy. Okay. 
There we go. We got one. Eh. Oh my gosh. Eh. Almost there, guys. There we go. Two arms. Now we just gotta pull it over the body. Guys, this is so cute. This is my baby. I, I'm never gonna have a real baby, but look at this! Ah! Does it go like all the way down to the legs? I think so, right? Look, he's a fat pumpkin, or he or she. Guys, I don't know. We haven't named the bear yet. What do you guys think? Bear, do you have any ideas? Now, or wait, no, let's put the mask on next. Where's the mask? This is so great, guys. I totally forgot I ordered a Build-A-Bear. And when Michael brought it in, I was like, heck yes. It was a, a surprise. Get that tag in there. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Putting the mask on. All right. You're going to be safe this Halloween. But did anyone play Build-A-Bear? Yes, Bear, I did play Build-A-Bear. I was so rich and so cool in that game. Boba, hi cat, how are you? Yes, I want a Halloween name, because Halloween. Okay, let's flare that out. My people, yes, Fair. I, like Build-A-Bear was my shiz. I was so good at it. Okay, actually, how do I put on this hat? You put it on, how did I put it on the first time? Did I put it over the ears? I think I did. Wait, no, that's not what I did. GG, isn't Build-A-Bear the best? Welcome. You freaking love that ish. <laughs> GG's awake. Calabasa. Yes, your name is Calabasa. You are pumpkin. <laughs> That's very straightforward. Guys, actually, how did I put on the hat the first time? Because it's not staying anymore. Yeah, pumpkin, a different language. How did I... Guys, I forgot how I did it the first time. Did I do it over the, the neck, maybe? Okay. I think I did. I think I did do it over the neck. Yeah, that's what I did. There you go. Nicole got there. Nicole forgot how she did things. There you go, you guys. Uh, let me see if I could hide it a little better. I don't like when the strings show. Yeah, no. Oh, it's okay, cat. Here's our pumpkin baby. The little leaves keep going up, but it's okay. Isn't it so cute? Guys, a lot of, also, if you guys are interested, here's me being an ad. Build-A-Bear sponsor me. But there are, a lot of their bears are on sale on their website. I'm just going to drop that. So, if you guys want. That's why I got Livia Bear. I would get you all bears, but, like, money. <laughs> Maybe I'll get you guys bears for your birthday. Tell me your birthday's in the Discord. But ta-da! Here we go, yes. So I'm gonna just put how there our pumpkin bear next to me. I'm gonna put him back in the box. You still have five builder bears? Get another one. I have not, GG, because a lot of that their I have looked at them though, but I'm like those clothes are out of my. They're a little bit out of my comfort zone. Okay, guys, I'm going to put our jazzy tunes to get us in the mood to start making a movie. Oh, I did. I missed it. Calabarza or Calabarza. I love that fairy cake. I totally, I, that pun went over my head. Oh, my gosh. Treat yourself. <laughs> Do it. Okay, guys. So I am gonna switch this the switch the screen because now I feel like that was enough time for everyone to come on in, and I'm so happy you guys got to see the bear because I was so excited. But 
let's get into it but yes guys treat yourself honestly positivity all the way like oh my goodness what is this oh <laughs> that'd be so cute i hope she has fun today at her little sister's birthday party i'm pretty sure they'll have fun but so actually when starting to create like this animal crossing film before i even get into animal crossing this is what uh i do i'm gonna turn on my monitor really quickly but i make a script so guys mrs langtree and langtree with it which is her father i don't have any voice actors for that right now so if you guys are interested let me know in the chat um yeah because right now all we have is me and michael and libby and yeah here's the script um well richard's character is in it if no one volunteers for langtree i can assign that to richard <laughs> but yeah so i usually i write where the scene takes place here are the lines and the actions are usually in italics or in parentheses when it's in parentheses it's usually because it's like that certain character and sometimes oops look i just ruined it but here will be like little notes for me but yeah it's a really short script three pages because you know they're mini movies yay spring sam and i you're like i volunteer perfect what's this about an animal crossing film you want a voice act you guys perfect i'll post the script in the discord and y'all can like let you can like send me some like voice files or or stuff but yes there's gonna be a lot of episodes here we'll swap my water for the tea because nicole's oh i get two fancy okay michael put both yeah that's michael he brought me tea but yes, guys, if you want to voice act, please let me know. We're going to have lots of episodes, so... I'm having auditions now! I know, because I didn't expect this. I was literally scared that I was going to have to be like, guys, please be in my film. So the fact that you guys are volunteering, it means the world to me. So, yes, I'll post the... And I'm having lots of ep episodes, so I'm pretty sure I can squeeze everyone in somewhere. Like, everyone can get a role. Because luckily in every episode, there's always a new character, so be gucci <laughs> so once after you write your script and usually what i do is since i'm going based off of the show i well how i write the script is i watch the episode and then i i mentally know or i write it down which i think are the most important parts because you know i'm summarizing them and then sometimes i'll take lines from the show sometimes i'll like rewrite them but that is how i write the script you would volunteer but you look you have no way of recording cleanly Ooh, i will show you guys though once i go to the editing part of this stream how if you do have like obviously you want to record in the best room possible with like uh, either your mic or even like headphones mic like the apple ones with the microphone can be good uh, just depends on how you record it and then the room you're recording in but i will show you how i edit audio on GarageBand. but we haven't even had we don't have anything yet so let's start filming so now that i know when this like takes place i'm gonna change the day in animal crossing and the time to fit so these kids are going to school and school usually starts at like I'm gonna say what, 9 a.m., 10 a.m., right? 9 a.m., so let's go to 9 a.m. because this takes place during school. And we're also gonna go to Harvey's and I'll show you how I use Harvey's for filming. But fair, there's, I, I believe all of y'all can do it. I, I strongly believe. And this is a lot for, it's mainly for fun. It's not like super, super professional, you know, but. And if you guys have questions along the way, please feel free to ask. And it, uh, you could also ask questions about anything on the Discord. I mentioned that, like, you know, I didn't know what to talk about today because this is part of Libby's Streamtober challenge. And I wanted to share with you guys tips and tricks for making an Animal Crossing movie. But if you're interested in, like, New York living or theater or anything, you know, please feel free to ask. <gasps> You're perfect, fair. Perfect. I love that. 
I probably will. So this is based off the show Over the Garden Wall. And it's available on Hulu. So if you have Hulu, it's a very short mini series. Like all the episodes are like 10, 12 minutes long. And there's only 10 episodes. So you could literally binge it all in one night. I'm thinking about having a movie night on the, in the Discord to watch it. But I don't know when would be a good time. But yeah, and essentially it's about these two little boys. They get lost in the woods. And, uh, and it was, I'll, I'll spoil it because, you know, we're going to be making the film. So you're going to find out as we go along. Ads. Rude. We've sure talked about getting me premium and we haven't gotten there yet. But it's okay. But these two little boys on Halloween night, they climb over this garden wall because they're running away from their problems. I do. I just like... <laughs> ads get out of here i just feel like the paragraph would be super long but they get lost on halloween night by going over the garden wall and when they go over this garden wall like weird stuff happens like literally every episode you meet someone new <gasps> thank you michelle i i just feel like it's such a like it's funny it's not a complex show but if you watch it it feels complex because there's so many elements to it it's really like it's tough. Like, I would describe it to my brother, and he's like, okay. And he actually watched it on Monday because I gave him my account. And he was like, oh my gosh, I love it. It was like, it was so, like, detailed. The music was beautiful. And all the characters were so, like, they had so much depth to them. And I was like, mm-hmm. I told you. I told you it was good. And you didn't believe me. Okay, so right off the bat... I actually need to get another control. So fun fact, if you didn't know, is I... <gasps> Look at these paths, Spring. Thank you for teaching me, guys. Spring taught me how to... Tell, Spring slash tell in the chat taught me how to do paths. And like, we've come such a long way. <gasps> MB4555, thank you so much for following. Welcome to the Happy Island Bunch. Welcome, welcome. But right off the bat, I know we're gonna, we, we need to get Wirt. So let's call Wirt. So actually I need to go get the other controller. Give me one second. Yes, they have Pokemon and then they're all on sale. I love it. Or at least most of them are on sale. Thank you, Tal. Name the Pokemon. Okay, guys. So, fun fact. I filmed this all by myself. So, when you see Wirt and Greg and all these characters, I'm controlling all of them. <laughs> so, you can make this movie by yourself, technically. Like, you can even do all the voices yourself. Like, if you wanted to, you don't need anybody. So... <laughs> I like having more voices just because I'm really bad at making a lot of different voices. But you could technically do this all by yourself because I control all these characters. And I'm over here with two controllers. What I do is, so here's a tip slash trick for number one is I put the controllers on my desk. Like, let's say they're both running. I'll put it on my desk and I'll have these two hands on both joysticks and press them both. So... Yeah, no, Michael don't help. <laughs> but it's okay. Because if Michael did try to help me, I'd probably be like, no, don't do that. <laughs> so, it's okay. I know, Basil Cat. So, I control both characters. So, I have two remotes on here. And <laughs> if they both... Like, I'll show you. So, they're on the table right now. Here in my hand. And this is... I control them like, let's run, Greg. Like... Craig, run! And this is how I do I've gotten really good at it since I, I do it so much now. But you see? That's how I... <laughs> that's how I control both characters. Ugh, what does Broccolo want? <laughs> the dedication! <laughs> so that's... This is a tip, I guess, for that. Have a flat table and practice controlling both controllers at once if you're gonna do this. <laughs> If you have other people and they're willing to help, for sure use them. But, you know, Michael's also always doing work. You know, I don't wanna, I don't wanna bother him. So, I do it by myself. <laughs> Thank you guys. <laughs> Talent. 
Okay, cat, no worries. Oh, that's so exciting, cat. We'll give you a follow back. Nicole's two track drifting right now. Mm hmm. <laughs> this Michael guy sounds lame. Yeah, he should just quit. All right, when I am running to location of filming, though, I leave the character behind because, you know, they pop back up, so it's okay. Oops, I just realized I was going the wrong way. Yes, we all should follow Boba, our lovely cat. So now that the script is done and I pulled out my other character, which is Michael's character, he's playing Wart. I run to the location of filming. So we're going to be filming near this school area. So it's all going to be around here. And I decorated it a lot more. As you can see, it's not as plain as it was before because I knew we were going to be filming a day. We could totally get Boba to 50 followers before she starts tomorrow. And then she just has to do the, the amount of hours. <laughs> and then Michelle, also, tomorrow she, we're playing um, Phasmophobia. And I think after tomorrow, she should be affiliate as well. Them poofing back in is so funny. It really is. Yes, Michelle, I'm so excited. I am so excited. So I'm gonna quickly... Got the VR set and everything he is. All right, I'm gonna pull up my script here because I need the script. So I always have... So I have two monitors, Animal Crossing's on my left, and the script is on my right. So I always recommend going off the script and sometimes I highlight as I go along <gasps> Basil Cat, thank you so much for hosting but yes Michelle he's gonna break out the VR and everything it's gonna be such a fun time but so I have my script open and I highlight as I go along because I want to make sure I don't miss any of the scenes and then sometimes as I'm filming feel free to be open to change Tal, thank you for the bitty but feel free to be open to change because sometimes I'll be filming something. And I'll be like, oof, that doesn't work. Or I need like, oh, I want work to say another line. So sometimes I'll do that as well. Like I'll edit as I go along. But if you're the creator, you can obviously do that, you know. So and also one thing I'm going to do right now is I'm going to record and stream at the same time because I actually get my footage from Streamlabs. Fun fact. And usually I'll film it like this though, look, I'm gonna show you guys. I usually film it like that. So, um, yeah. So, I'm, I just realized though, I'm gonna record the overlay and everything. It should be fine, I'll just crop it. I'll crop it, it should be fine. And if not, I record in the Switch anyhow. So I'm blessing record. Okay. So now I'm recording and streaming at the same time. It shouldn't crash, hopefully. Streamlabs said people do that all the time, so. <laughs> so, oh, guys, I hope I hope this is interesting. I was like, cause like, that's why I asked, because I was worried y'all wouldn't be interesting, but, or, or interested, but I'm glad you guys were. So I hope, if I'm being boring, or if you have any questions, please let me know. <laughs> please. Oh, Uncle Mal, thank you for lurking. So our first scene, we have Greg singing, and he's like, to Adelaide, Adelaide, come on and join the Adelaide parade. <gasps> Fair, thank you. I always worry that I'm boring. I'm just like, mm. So we need Beatrice, and for Beatrice, if you saw episode two, aw, Tao, thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna put Beatrice right here. Oh, there's no room. Okay. Let's put Beatrice somewhere here in the middle. I don't know. We move her anyway. So Beatrice is the bird and that's the character Libby plays. So this is where we filmed last time we filmed here. Oh look, Mabel's here. Guys, okay. Here's another, it's not, it's just, it's just, it's not a tip or a trick. It's gonna be advice. If your villagers get really annoying and are always in the shot, take a break or reopen the game because sometimes they don't move and I get really frustrated when they're in the shot and they're not supposed to but just reopen the 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 game and then hopefully they've spawned to a new place. 
You found a Bride of Frankenstein Build-A-Bear? I love that. Libby is such a good Beatrice. Fair, have you not have you not heard her voice yet? If you haven't, I'm gonna play it right now. Yeah, poopy ones. Yay, Michelle, thank you for for listening. It's only $45? Oh, the, the bear. Oh, and then Michael, they redeemed ASMR. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys the video first. You guys can see Libby, and then I'll, Michael will come over. So we're gonna put a pause to this. Let's make this full screen. All right, I can't see you guys right now because my other monitor has Animal Crossing, but, oh, I wanna open a new tab so I don't close our music. But let's go to me channel if you haven't followed Happy Island Blog on YouTube. But here is Libby's voice. You two are lost, right? Uh huh. Here, actually, let me hire the volume on desktop audio. How about I bring you to Adelaide of the Pasture, the good woman of the woods. She can help you get home. No, 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 no. I'm going to Pottsville. And then here's Richard's yeah. voice, because Richard's voice is also really oh. good. Can they? You guys find this place as creepy as I do, right? So it's some kind of weird cult. They seem nice, though. Okay, you're in denial. That's fine. Maybe I can find someone who can give us a ride home. Richard. Rose. Well, we keep skipping yeah, what? That. Leave Pottsfield? Who wants to leave Pottsfield? Oh, are we leaving already? Let's leave immediately! Now hold on. How did you boys end up in this little town of ours? Alright, I'll just give you that little preview. Okay, music's about to be loud. I'm sorry. for the outfit yeah no they do uh, take account of the outfit <gasps> that's okay spring we could do the asmr uh, well, when michael is finished or whenever he's ready because i don't want to bother him too much since he's working yes richard he's so good the pumpkin guy is like it's so funny in each spot there are different characters so they're all like libby's voice was spot on Oh, I need my script open. Where's my script? There it is. Oh, thank you, Maddie. The video was so much fun to make. All right, I'm only going to do a few of the scenes cuz usually this it's a very long project. When I work on these films, I usually spend a whole day filming and cutting the clips on iMovie. And then the second day I record and I look for music and I do some of the editing and usually the third day. So it usually takes about three days. Granted, I don't work on it all day. I like I have a few hours because technically if I had one whole day to do it, I think I could do it in one whole day. But because I only work on it a little at a time, I it usually takes me about the three days. But thank you, Maddie. But yeah, so I'll only do a few of the scenes. I'll probably do the first two. I'll do the first two. Ooh, okay, so Michael, I'll, I'll write it down. He owes two ASMRs. Okay, so the first scene, we're, we're gonna have a Greg, or here, because I like this shot. So I also try to like get a nice shot first. So I'll... Yeah, he'll he'll come over. Just he's working on something right now, but he'll be here. Don't worry. Okay. Yeah. After the shot, he'll come. He'll come on. So this is the shot I want. So I usually frame it, and I took off the little things, and you do that by pressing the right joystick. So I love that. That was in the new update, and it's beautiful. I love it so much. So then I. I position my characters with my two remotes, right? So I want Greg here. Greg is gonna be singing, and we're gonna have war. I usually do their emotions first.
first. So Wirt and Beatrice are not having it. They don't they they're finding Greg annoying right now. <gasps> it's aesthetically pleasing. I'm so glad. I seriously worry. So because they're annoyed, this is the expression I'm gonna give Wirt I Wirt, yeah. So I then I put this remote down. And then I'm gonna have Greg just like running back and forth and then I'm gonna like do the singing thing and then what I like to do is this is how I time the shots oh I just realized I closed the shot but how I time the shot is I actually sometimes say the words while I <gasps> lavender sprouts thank you so much for the raid hello welcome in Hi! We're making an Animal Crossing film right now! Hello! What just happened? Oh, well, you guys raided and look at all these wonderful emotes! No, you didn't ruin it. I, I, I haven't, I'm barely positioning this first shot. And even then, um, the, we're just doing the scenes right now. Welcome in, everyone! I was just telling them I just framed the shot and when I f I'm ready to film, I just close off these little, you know, whatever they're called. Thank you, Gigi. But yeah, I close off the thing and I usually a trick so I know I get the duration of the shot correct or at least almost correct around there. I like to say the line as I film as I film, so the, the way I'm gonna have this shot, I'm gonna have Greg come in like to Adelaide, to Adelaide, come on and join the Adelaide parade. And then he's singing, and then he's singing, and then that's the first shot. And I like to screenshot it as well. So I have two copies. I'm recording this on um, Streamlabs right now, and I've screen recorded the shot on the switch and you do that by pressing that little circular button the one that looks like a circle and you hold it yes we do mini films for of over the garden wall the tree standy though i know when you can't plant a tree you just have to put a standy in <laughs> but because we're they're supposed to be in a forest and you need trees but I record on the Switch and on Streamlabs, so I for sure have all the shots. And sometimes the quality will be different. Oh, Michael, thank you for gifting a sub. Yeah. But sometimes the quality will look different. I don't know why that. I really don't. But it's better to have the two copies. So that was our first shot. And then the next one, I always... Usually I try to do a shot per... per um, I know 34 subs. Michael is amazing, but Matt, Master Matt Gaming, welcome to the Courageous Coconut Crew. But I usually do a shot per per line or per like moment. Song you love. If, if that makes Find sense. It on YouTube music. We have official songs and go album. away, ad. Okay, there we go. Michelle. So then the next line is Wirt and Beatrice simultaneously telling Greg, no, because they mad. They're like, stop singing, you little bitch. <laughs> so then for this one, I think we'll just here. I'm going to have Beatrice, actually leave Beatrice there. And sometimes I'll just zoom into this shot too, just to show that change has occurred. So we'll do this close up shot and then I'll do, so this is both of them saying, no. Boom, screenshot that. It was a short line and they're like, no. Oh, you don't have Discord. That's okay. But disc we do use Discord for playing games. So if you are interested in maybe getting Discord to play games, that'd be a lot of fun. But if not, there is no pressure. And I appreciate you so much for being here. Yes, Maddie, you should. But it's Michelle Stream, so I'll let her let her do that. And then Greg's next line is, but we have to do something fun. So I think crying would be a good expression for this. So then he cries and then I time it. But we have to do something fun. 
and I'll give it a few extra seconds for cushion and then I'll record. What happened to Dom? Dom has had a little bit too much coconut courage, which is why we're called the Courageous Coconuts. <laughs> is he sleepy? No, I don't know if you noticed, he has a coconut drink in his hand and he got some, yeah, coconut courage. <laughs> AKA like alcohol courage. <laughs> Ooh, Maddie. <laughs> yeah, it was it's an it's an, a joke we had really early on in the stream. But it's it's funny. Okay. So now that Greg's it, but we have to do something fun. Now it's Beatrice line. Now because Beatrice isn't a character, I know she's just a custom design. I really like to zoom into her when she says her lines. So everyone knows that it's Beatrice talking and not something else. So we're gonna have Greg crying again because because Wart and Beatrice just told him no. So he's high. He's He's drunk, but yes, essentially. I know, I hate that, emo like, like you always, since emotes are so tiny, like you're trying to squeeze in all those elements. So then here's Beatrice saying, you know, we really don't. We can just keep walking silently, you know? And then boom, you screenshot that line. And then, the, I'm gonna input a sound effect here where the school bell is gonna ring and that gets Greg's attention. So we're gonna zoom into Greg. And then let's see. If he hears a school bell ringing, I think it'll be more of a surprise like, <gasps> like, oh, what was that? So we're gonna do surprise. Record that. Freya, thank you so much for following. Welcome to the Happy Island Bunch. Today I'm filming a little Animal Crossing film. I'm like showing you guys through my process because my very close friend Lunar Libby, she d is doing a Streamtober, Streamtober challenges. And today was to show or share knowledge about something you know quite a bit about and things that you can share tips and tricks. And I wanted to share how I make my Animal Crossing movies. Oh, thank you, Michelle. Yes, so we filmed two episodes so far. Although I technically have three films under my belt because I filmed Michael's and I's wedding video. So if you want to see that one, that one's a lot. That one's really cute too. But yeah. Yes, no, I love it. So right now I'm doing the filming process, and, but once we film these few scenes, I'm gonna show you how I edit them on GarageBand and iMovie. Nightbot is here. Yeah, Nightbot is my bot. Oh, guys, I owe you some Michael ASMR. Before we move on, Michael, do you wanna? <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, I almost forgot. You want to see the wedding video? Yeah, that's on my Instagram, and that one's so, so cute. All right, I'm going to stop the music for Michael's ASMR. Thank you, Maddie, for gifting a sub. Maddie and I are tied. We're at 34 each. Maddie, I'm coming for that crown. I'm going to get, I'm going to get all the subs. So, how's it going, everyone? Where it looks very, mind? very upset. Hello, everyone. This is uh, this is Michael's ASMR corner. It's the corner because I'm in the, the corner of the screen right here. So, if you guys have any questions for me or or want me to say funny things, hey, Dave, what's up, bud? Dave. Yeah. How did this even start? How did we start with the, the Michael ASMR little moment? Because you spoke one time in the mic and everyone really loved it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, there we go. I like Point Crow, that one. Yeah. You just have an ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that's, that's very nice. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Sing the moto and what's the moto? If you can tell me what the moto is, I will sing it. <laughs> 
or try to. Or speak it. Or speak it. Or whisper it. Or whisper it. All of the above. Say Calabarza. Calabarza. Is that, is that your bear's name? Yeah. Calabarza. Oh, Moto Moto from Madagascar. Oh, oh. Here, I'll look up the lyrics for you. Is you that the one that goes, I like to move it, move it? Is no, that that no. one? No. Moto Moto. Is that Hello Moto? Nope. Okay, well then I don't know Moto Moto. Keep talking then, please. Ham is doing very well, Spring. Thank you. She was very active last night, which we always like to see. We we got her out. We got her some some lettuce. We found out she's very picky about the kind of lettuce she'll eat. There's she only eats the fancy, expensive lettuce. We tried getting her just some regular lettuce. Mm -mm, didn't fly. She was like no, or no. So we uh we had to get her fancy, expensive lettuce, and now she won't stop eating it. Okay, so what's what's this? It's super funny. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, what do I, where do I even? St there. You don't have to if you don't want to. You can tell. Them. <laughs> oh, this is so weird. Because they're hippos in Madagascar. <laughs> you don't have to. This is so weird. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna bow out of this one. I'm I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna get red in the face. The moto moto song is weird. <laughs> Uh, I have not. No, I saw the first one. And I was like, "That's good enough for me. <laughs> that that's enough Madagascar." And now, after seeing that, I think I made a good choice. I think I made a good choice. Tell, tell them how your day's gone. It's it's been an unbreakable <laughs> coward. You're right. You're hundred percent right. <laughs> Um, it's it's been an okay day. It's it hasn't been as productive as I'd like. There you go. This always cracks me up. This whole this whole little thing cracks me up. <laughs> I need an ASMR channel. <laughs> See, it's funny because normally I'm actually a very loud person. I'm so loud. Wow, Nicole, you've never called me out like that before. So loud, right? Rude. So rude. <laughs> yeah, man. I wish Ham Ham was awake. Oh, I hit the mic. I wish Ham Ham was awake. Because she's very funny. We gave her when we gave her the lettuce last night. She shoved it all in her cheek, just immediately. <laughs> Do you? I don't know Molly the duck. Do you have any ducks on your island? I can't. I don't think so. Freckles. Right? Oh yeah, freckles. How can I forget about freckles? It's because freckles is is more than a duck. <laughs> Tell me a funny story. What's a funny story? Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm telling, I've told all my funny stories. No, I'm sure I have more. Oh, did I tell you, did I tell you the time that I, uh, my dad and I were building a, a tree house and I, a, a, a giant log fell on his face? <laughs> we were building a, we were building a big tree house in my backyard and if, if, my my dad is someone that you know if it's worth doing it's worth overdoing, um, so of course we had to make the biggest and the best tree house there ever was. Like this thing was uh, like probably larger than our bedroom in here. It had a balcony. We had uh, it had shingles. We were gonna run up a uh, power to it, uh, but it was it was huge. But so we had to, and we wanted it to be completely freestanding, so no supports going down to the ground. So, you know, we had these big old, like, four by four beams that were supporting it and going into the, going into the tree. Well, they're very, very big, heavy beams. And, you know, I was like 13 at the time, so I wasn't, like, able to, like, lift them up into the tree and hold them there. So my dad's like, 
you know what? We're going to use Egyptian engineering to get this done. And if you know anything about my dad, you know that any time he falls back on Egyptian engineering, it doesn't end well. <laughs> it, it starts good in principle, and it goes south very quickly after that. <laughs> so we tie a rope to one side of the beam, and we, like, prop up the other corner where it's going to go in the tree. Um, and he has a... Uh, something he does often yes he he likes to make things and he he likes uh we we used to always work on like big productions and stuff like that and so he'd always be like moving stuff and trying to figure out ways to to move heavy things but um yeah so we tie a rope to one end of this big beam we put the other end we kind of loosely secure it onto the tree and he has me go up into the tree and we rig up a little quick pulley system and I start pulling on on the rope to, to pull up one side of the beam to get it in position and he's down there ready to like screw it in and like just like keep an eye on it well I'm just I'm up there just pulling away oh you're fine nerf <laughs> the moto moto request was funny I'm just a coward <laughs> but um uh I I do like beans. Black beans are good. Beans. Black beans are good. The best beans. The best bean. Yeah, but I'm I'm up in the tree pulling away and everything sounds good and then all of a sudden my dad says, Stop pulling. So I so I stop pulling. And he goes, Michael, stop pulling. I'm like, I'm not moving, I'm holding the rope. Michael, stop pulling. And then I just hear thud <laughs> and I hear my dad go, Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I poke my head out of the tree, and what had happened is that little rope we tied at the end of the beam had slip was slipping off. So we had like tied it like down here on the beam, and it was slipping. And he thought I was pulling the rope, but the beam was just slipping out of the out of the uh, off the the rope was just slipping off the beam, and he was right underneath it, and it landed right right under his nose he had a perfect little x cut in his nose we had to take him to the hospital to get stitches and he has a big mustache and it, they had to shave the middle of his mustache which made him look really funny and then he had a perfect x right on his right on his lip it was it was you know it was very bad that a beam fell on him but it was very funny after he got it fixed <laughs> he had like an inverted little cutaway mustache with a, a big x So that that that's the story. Thank you, Michael. Yeah. I appreciate this. Thank you, Maddie. So you look like drunk Dom. Uh. Your dad. I don't think so. <laughs> he looked like he had an Xbox logo on his lip. Oh well, thank you for the wonderful yeah, ASMR. You're welcome. You a little. Pss, 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 pss. <laughs> Maybe you have some sound effects. Signing off, my boys. Signing off. Oh, Maddie, thank you for helping me beat my daily sub goal. I don't beat it every day, but thank you. It, I it makes me happy when we've met the goal. Yeah. There's Michael with a lot of funny stories. Now he can be loud again. See, now he can be loud. Call of Duty on the go! Okay. What is bits for ham ham? Ooh, Freya, so my little hamster is, she had a lot of health problems. She still ha has a lot of health problems, but she's getting better, which is the good thing. But because it was such a financially strenuous time for us, we were raising money lots of vet trips and each one was like and because she's a hamster she's considered exotic which i'm like what the heck but that means it's even more expensive so a yeah because there's a hamster specialist and whatnot so it was a really tough time so now like all the we i i say we did a little fundraising event and that covered her but then we spoiled her and got her a really new big cage 
and which is good though because now she's happier and we're just we want to keep her happy <laughs> and but yeah so all bits go to ham ham literally <laughs> So that's why they're called bits for ham ham and she's our little if you see on the top and she she has a pirate patch because she did lose an eye but she is so strong and yeah that's her little ham ham she's our, she's like our mascot okay the last thing i did was the huh whoa on YouTube music, so you can sing oh three seconds three two one skip okay there we go yes freya Oh, thank you guys for the sub. Thank you. <laughs> you're trying to keep it equal. Maddie, you're so sweet. So now I'm going to do the... Oops, I ruined the shot. I always do that, man. So I'm going to do the... Huh, whoa. And then Greg running to the school. So I'm going to just do the huh, whoa again because I don't remember if I got it. And then now let's do the whoa, which I want. And then runs away. Okay, that's a shot. <gasps> Michael, thank you for gifting us up to am shells. Now you're actually like, look, you're a seashell. Yeah, you now you've been set for two months, so you are a yellow seashell. Okay, so we got that shot, and then the last shot I want before we go to Harvey's. Oh my gosh, do we have a hype train? Guys, we haven't gotten a hype train in so long. Oh my gosh. Hype train. <laughs> You're shell now. Yes, I'm shell now. <laughs> I'm shell. Oh, guys. Thank you, guys. We haven't had a train in a long time, so that's, that's nice. Your dog has pancreas, so she can't eat that much meat. Oh, I feel they get so sad when they're like, give it to me. Oh my gosh, you guys. Uh, thank you for the biddies. For Look, Ham Ham can't even keep up. I know Ham Ham's struggling. Thank you, Michelle, for gifting us some. Look, this is Greg's running for you. Okay, so the last shot. Sometimes I get shots where I don't frame it. Oh. Thank you, my goal. Okay, so I'm gonna do a shot where Greg is running into the school. So that I can't run into the school, obviously, because I'm in a frame. But I'll just do a transition that looks like Greg ran into the school. So now I'm actually going to go to Harvey's Island because the next scene takes place in a school. And I obviously used the museum. Oh my gosh, you guys. Maddie, thank you for gifting subs. And Sprig, thank you for the biddies. And Michael, look at you. You are a unicorn. You're a unicorn. Um, I'm going to go to Harvey's Island because I need to do the interior school scenes. And this is the museum. We can't do that. So let's go to Harvey's. So I love using Harvey's Island when I'm doing films because one, you have like unlimited furn furniture. You can place the models exactly where you want them to. So like y film at Harvey's, it's great. Obviously I want to film around the island because I want to document the island as well. But every time there's like an interior scene, I like to, I like to do it at Harvey's. So exterior scenes take place on the island and then interior scenes take place at Harvey's. <gasps> oh my gosh, Freya, thank you for the bitties. Oh, and then drink water. Thank you. I'm gonna drink my tea because I think the cold water was making me cough. I'm really sensitive to cold things. Like if I eat ice cream, I'll start getting, I'll start coughing a lot. I don't know why, but it sucks because I love ice cream. I mean, I'll still eat it. I'll just like, I'll just warn people, like, guys, I'm gonna be coughing because I'm eating ice cream, but don't freak out. What game is this? This is Animal Crossing, and we're filming a little Animal Crossing to film right now. Guys, I like how I've been recording for, like, 30 minutes, but we, well, we probably only have, like, 30 seconds of footage. <laughs> 
I'm dead. But it's okay. We're only gonna film two scenes. Cause then I wanna show you how I edit and things. Oh, I have to end the session, don't I? Okay. So I have to end the session with Michael first. So we have to send Michael home. <gasps> the gnome train. Thank you. No, the train. I think you discovered the train on like episode eight or nine. But yeah. But I put it right near the entrance. You're the same way? Okay, I thought it was just weird. Like, it bothers me sometimes because I'm like, one, I'm not sick, I promise. And two, like, I'll forget that I cough when there's when I eat something cold or drink something cold until, like, I start coughing. I'm like, oh, it's probably because I'm eating ice cream or because I'm drinking this really cold glass of water. Oh, I thought you said we have to end, Michael. No, no, we have to end the session. End me. <laughs> no, Michael, stop. Because if you die, I die. Tragic. Tragic. And then all my parents get all my student loans, and I would feel really bad. <laughs> Definitely not an allergic reaction. That'd be funny, though. Imagine I'm allergic to the cold. Hello. <laughs> All right, let's go to Harvey's. And then I'll show you also guys, like one of my favorite parts is about going to Harvey's is making the set. I think making the set is a lot of fun. So then obviously, cause this takes place in a classroom, we're gonna make it look like a school. We can end Michael on Among Us only. Yes, yes we can. <laughs> and it's a fun time. It's so funny though. I always like sometimes Michael like in my head, Michael's always the white character. So whenever I see the white character dead, I'm always like, oh no, Michael. And sometimes it's not him. He'll be like, that's not me. And I'm like, oh, like, you know, when you just associate people with colors. I would so be down, Maddie. Yay. Um, yes thank you guys for getting us to a uh, level one hype train that was a lot of fun uh, we don't get them often so they're fun and we got a new emote because of it all right i actually want this school to take place in this room because we do transition if we go from the school like the classroom and then we go into the like this room on the right will be the cafeteria and then the left one would be like the dorm room. So we're. <laughs> I love you, Cat. Cat, you are hilarious. Yes, you heard correctly. You've been neglecting the chips. Yeah. It's like, excuse me, I heard the, the crinkling. Have seen that? FBI Boba. I love that boat. I mean, Kat, that fits you so well, so. Where's the lie? <laughs> but Amshells, yes. I also, on a normal basis, I do usually neglect Harvey's, but when I make these films, I'm like, Harvey's! Okay. Uh, I have to decide what would be a good wall. I feel like this wood wall would be good. Sometimes I'll look up, like, which because I'm working off the show, it's good. I'll look up reference photos. So I'm gonna put over the garden wall classroom, maybe. Yeah, perfect. It came up perfectly. So they have like beige walls. So actually this doja wall may actually look good. Let me turn on the lights because I can't see anything. That actually may work very well because they're like beige looking walls. We do not want to use bunny day walls, not here. <laughs> Which emote? Cute face with it. Oh, it, I didn't even see the knife over here. Like it's on a, against a dark screen, so it did, I couldn't see it. Shout out Basil for screaming at 1 a.m. last night. Oh, did you guys accuse her of being sus again? <laughs> Basil's sus. Basil's always sus. Okay, I think this wallpaper and flooring actually works really well. So let's start looking at items we have. And usually I'll just like 
drop them like drop 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 and then I'll arrange them so let's see what's a good school chair these are good school chairs right just the wooden chairs yeah. let's just grab a few of those you were so upset I'm sorry basil like this one but it doesn't look like the ones in the show oh, okay. um actually, I actually feel like the wooden block chairs look a little better I don't know I'll pull them out both it really was the final straw basil did they vote you out again just cuz is that what happened if y'all have room M shells yes for sure we probably would have room Okay, look, here's a teacher's desk. Ooh, and then school desks. Perfect. Exclamation Discord. You were so close to being ejected and there was zero evidence. I'm sorry, Basil. They just love, they've gotten to the point where they just love to vote you out. <laughs> It was a group kill and Katie just go. It was Basil, I know it. I'm dead. Katie. Oh, Katie. All right, I'm actually gonna use, so I want it to them to be on each side of the teacher's desk. So is the desk the right way? I can't tell. There we go. Now it's the right way, I think. I was with Basil the whole time and they didn't believe us. Oh my gosh. They just they just love to vote Basil off. <gasps> yes, I also want to play a little Phasmophobia. You know, honestly, I just I want to play games. There I have one more thing to film for school, but I don't care. <laughs> I'll probably film it tomorrow morning. And my class is at 9 a.m. Ha ha ha. I'll pro I'll wake up at 7 and then film it. Right before class. Can you play that last? Because I'm scared. Oh, Tao, sure. We could do that. We'll do that for sure. Because I do want to play a few rounds with you, Tao. You know, we haven't played Overwatch in a while, Tao. We have to play Overwatch. I'm, I'm, I, fi I was finally getting better. And I'm not going to get better if I take a break. I'm almost done, Michelle. Tomorrow's my last day. I'm so excited. So literally when I go into your stream, I'm like just going to be happy because I'm like stress free and I'm playing. And we get to break out the cookies, the wine and the chicken, the vegan chicken nuggets. It's going to be a grand time. Sam said you would be able to handle watching it. Oh, Sam said, okay, he would be able to. I was like, Sam. No, it's, it's funny. It's like the game is not scary till it's scary, if that makes sense. Because you'll be like, where's the ghost? Oh, this is lame. And then all of a sudden the ghost kills you and you're like, oh my gosh. Like Michelle and I are always the first ones out. And I feel really bad because that's why Maddie keeps getting killed. Because we keep leaving him. <laughs> so it's our fault. <laughs> sure, Maddie. Yes, Basil. By the way, next week on the stream, we're going to be playing Little Nightmares because heck yeah. And then maybe we'll even play some little Phasmophobia because I just, I love playing that game with you guys. <laughs> yeah, it goes zero to a hundred real quick. You bought some holiday sh Yes. I mean, that sounds yummy. You would get angry at Overwatch. That's okay though. That's okay. Dying isn't even scary. It's the moments leading up to the death that are awful. The coal is being chased and you just threw a crucifix. You did save me though when you threw that crucifix. Little did you know. You saved me. Oh, I didn't grab another study desk. For quad. I need to grab a desk. Last time they left the house. Oh my gosh, I felt so bad, Maddie. So Michelle and I sprinted because I think the ghost was like turning off the lights or something. Or we heard the voice and we ran out so fast. And Michelle and I were able to get outside. But then the door closed and Maddie was still inside. 
<laughs> and then Michelle and I run back and we're trying to open the door, but obviously the ghost locked it. And <laughs> we felt so, so bad. Oh my gosh. I was rip Maddie. I was like, I, I don't forgive myself for that. <laughs> it was so, <laughs> it was both funny and really sad. <laughs> Basil Cat, I feel like you would enjoy watching and playing. You should play with us. At least watch the lobby. Yes. Because the characters don't move well. They don't move well at all. Yes. Everyone, add, add each other on Steam. Because also I like to gift games. Oh, that's great. Is there there was a podium right because i think a podium in the corner or she has a podium in the corner in this picture i don't know why but she has one there so let's put it you were paying attention to the day you're like you just saw someone you're like time to kill let's go there I go again. i'll be your buddy i know i can't believe it's become a thing I'm sorry, Maddie. Yo, being the imposter is like hella nerve wracking. I, that's why I love being a crewmate. Okay, I know we have a whiteboard somewhere. But where? You love being the imposter? Tao. By all accounts, Maddie should be. <laughs> yeah. You guys like it? How come? I'm like super scared. Oh my gosh. No. I always get ex Everyone always knows it's me. <laughs> Cause I'm a bad liar. You love being sneaky? Damn, well you good at it, Nicole. Eat. <laughs> Do I not have a whiteboard? I thought I had a whiteboard. <laughs> Maybe I didn't buy it because I was like, ill school. <laughs> you hate being imposter. I know. Cat, it's because you're such a good interrogator. Oh, here's the whiteboard. I knew I had one. You are such a good interrogator. You're FBI boba for a reason. <laughs> you guys are so funny. I'm gonna put the chalkboard covering. Okay. Last time Boba called you out so hard. <gasps> what? I. <laughs> you hate it because you don't want to kill anyone. Oh. You need alcohol to be with it. You know what? I get that though, cause like, me too. <laughs> me too. Oh darn, I don't know if I like, ugh, I might have to redo this because I don't like how this looks here. Ugh, okay fine, let's go to the other room. The other thing is we know what we've put down already. Among Us is just a task simulator for me. Yes, I, I love doing the tasks. Look guys, this is how the other scene set up I did for episode two. So here you go, you guys get to see it in Harvey's. There's Beatrice on there. Michelle and I were imposter last night and you accidentally revealed it and no one noticed it. Wow. I'm so impressed because when me and Bram revealed it, everyone was like, whoa. Thank you, Bear! I really loved filming episode two. That was great. You came out of the vent like, oop! Wow. Have you guys seen, there's, I've been watching like, among Us Reels or Among Us TikToks 
on Instagram and there was one it was a clip from a, a some streamers stream and she actually she killed someone and then the person walked in and she was like oh no they're gonna catch me and then the other imposter comes out of the vent and kills that person and saves her <laughs> Uh -huh. so they hid behind they, they like stood in front of the dead body so you oh my see gosh it. and the person walked right by and didn't realize wow see the little button show up on the bottom of the corner that's insane you, us two, Libby and Richard, were in a room. You killed Libby and she didn't kill Richard. And I spent the voting time being like, Michelle, why didn't you kill Richard? And no one listened. <gasps> oh my gosh. That is... They were too busy, like, trying to yell, Basil sus. That's what happened. That's what happened. Yeah, they were too busy trying to throw Basil. That's what happened. I forgot they didn't know it was Michelle. I know. That's why, like, I said it by accident when I, like, outed Richard. Because don't get me wrong. I mean, I will try to bring Richard down. But I didn't mean to at that moment. <laughs> okay, let's set up these desks again because Nicole messed up. No, Among Us is so much fun. Like, oh my gosh, who gave them permission to create such a fun game? But I really love, like now party games are like my favorite. Or like multiplayer games like that. I've never had so much fun before than playing with you guys. And that's actually when I was younger. Those were the only games I liked to play. I only liked to play multiplayer games because I really hated playing by myself. The only way I would play by myself is if it was like an adventure game. And even then, like, I wouldn't do the side quests. I would try to finish the game just to finish the game, if that makes any sense. Like, I wouldn't try. <laughs> just talking and playing with you guys is so much fun. It really is, Maddie. Then everyone went to bed and it was just Basil, Richard, Lib, and I, and you had a blast. I'm so glad. Usually with that little people, it's hard to play like a good Among Us, unless you played the Halloween version, but. No, what is the update? It's supposed to help imposters more? Yo, if they, what I want is like the cool, the kill cooldown to be like five seconds. I could have so much power if the kill cooldown was five seconds. I need the whiteboard or the chalkboard now. Ooh, more colors. Yes, that way everyone can pick their colors. If there's more colors though, no, I think that, like they would still have like eight people, right? They wouldn't make it bigger. Oh, towel, that's awesome. Better imposters just sound sick. Chalkboard, where are you at? Did I already pass it? I think I... Oh, no, there it is. That's even better. Yes. Oh, you teared up. I mean, I bet. I would, too. I... I love that. Like, it's about time. You know, this is too many desks. We're just gonna do four. Because then it's too crowded. How am I going to move around? There's also going to be this thing where you can change the taskbar setup. You can change when the taskbar goes... What? Huh. I feel like that's gonna get a little confusing, but. It means that people can't just watch you 
yeah, they can't just watch you do the tasks. Like, that's both good and, like, hmm. That's interesting. It makes it spicy. It's gonna be a spicy Among Us game. Okay, there's always a skeleton in a classroom, so let's just put... Oh, let's put the skeleton here, and then we need a, a dunce corner, because uh, worked gets put in the corner. So. Yeah, that's what I, I was gonna do. A little stool. Yeah, and I changed the line to go to timeout, because cause she says go into the dunce box, and we don't have a dunce box, so we're just gonna do go to timeout, or go to the corner. That's gonna be hard for me, though. You always look at the bar. I know, cat. <gasps> Libby's trick or treat? I know, you're the one that taught us that trick. When you, the first time you said it, I was like, what? <laughs> the task bar? Yeah. Oh, but I, I don't. I, I would like want to see the tasks. Yeah. I feel like I'd still want. I want to see the tasks. The Discord. What's? I know Lippy explained the trick or treat channel, but I still don't understand. Libby has a trick or treat channel on Discord. Tal is the stream back. I stopped recording because you know what? I'm not getting. I'm not even doing any shots right now. So, is it back? Okay. Well, then I hope it's back for. Oh no, you're PC, okay. I stopped recording anyhow, <laughs> I just realized. I don't think I'm gonna use this recording, I'll probably delete it. <laughs> and use the shots I have on the, whatchamacallit? On the swish. Twice that's happened today, I'm so sorry. Okay, I think that looks good for here. Can confirm I was the PC. Oh my gosh, cat. It's basically a speed contest thing where the winner gets to go to Feralia. Oh, it's cute. That's sweet. I like that. It's so funny though. I don't think, like, I would love to go to Feralia, but I have so much stuff right now. I have to be like, Nicole, please use your stuff first before you get any more stuff. You know if teachers have like posters and stuff all over the classroom? I'm just gonna try to do that. <laughs> you have the choo choo. Yes, because you, you started the train. Guys, I'm gonna get new bit badges for you guys, by the way. And I'm so excited. I've been looking on Etsy. And there's some really cute ones out there. Like there's some with mermaid tails. There's um like there's even Halloween ones, like little pumpkins. I don't know which one you guys would like more. I was thinking the mermaid tails because it goes with the seashells, but it's so cute. Almost 3 a.m. spring. But Tal, don't worry. I don't have school next week, Tal. I'm going to stay up for you next week. So get ready, Tal. Just, I'll, I'll be awake and be like, let's play Overwatch. Tyler doesn't even want the trip because you can go as a mod. He's just that competitive. That is hilarious. I know, Michelle. I was actually awake, and that's why I messaged you. And I was like, I'm so proud of you, Michelle. You're doing so good. But your Discord looks great. So I think it was definitely worth it. Like, yes, Michelle, I'm so excited. Like, I can easily say your Discord's already, like, it's better than mine. <laughs> but I didn't try, so. I tried in the beginning, and then now I'm just like, let it morph. 
Okay, I'm just gonna add another cork board because I don't know what to do. Okay, periodic table of elements, because science. Yes, Tao's Discord is fun. All right, now I'm gonna add these students and I'm gonna pick my favorite villagers. So we're gonna choose Sprinkles, Dom, Freckles, and I think that's it because Wart needs a chair. <gasps> Science is your favorite subject? I love that. My favorite subject is art. <laughs> All right, perfect. So we have that. And let's get wort in here, actually. We need wort, duh. Oh, and I needed a list, a Miss Lang tree. You know what, I have to create her character. So actually I haven't done that. So usually what I'll do is I'll switch characters. So like Derek's character right now is dressed up as, he has wrinkles, because I usually use him as the woodsman. But I'm probably gonna redo his character to look like Mrs. Langtree. So, I actually then because I have to do the character, I probably won't do these scenes, but I'll just show you quickly like just how I would do them. Uh, and then I'll show you the little editing tips and stuff. So, why I like Harvey's is cuz look at all these angles you can get first of all. It's a circular angle, so that's much, like compared to outside where you can only do one and you can only zoom in and out. So th this is one thing I like. So let's say I want a very close up on Wirt's character here. I can one give him the reaction I want him to do. Let's say he's sleepy and then Greg is going to yell at him. And then I can your host thank you you're learning things oh you like learning things you just don't like the assignments i agree assignments are not fun so then look i can get this shot right here and then look i just like these shots in harvey's island are just they're so wonderful he is i'm, I'm just showing an example because i don't have mrs langtree i forgot i need to make her so I, i'm not gonna film any of these scenes actually but um so then I, I press A. So you see, you don't even see the little emotion bar pop up. You just press A and they do their emotion. And then boom, you screenshot it. And there you go, you have like that awesome. And you could also do like the slow-mo scenes. Uh, if y'all saw episode two, I did a slow-mo of the pumpkins dancing. And you could do that like this. It's great. That's why I really do like using Harvey. So if you wanna use Harvey's for your film, highly recommend and you get and again like you press a and they do their thing because usually when i do uh use the clips from the ones on the island i crop out where you see me picking the emotion and i'll show you how i do that so that's just how i use harvey's i'm, I'm not gonna film the scenes i completely forgot i need a mrs langtree but this is the set i will be using so you at least got a sneak peek of the set so I'm going to save the game and you have two options in this part. So I usually record this off of Streamlabs, like I mentioned before. So that's how I have the file. But another option you have is if you have an SD card in your Switch, if you, you can connect that to your computer and get off your files from there. I don't have a big SD card, so I have the micro SD card in the Switch, but I need to get a bigger SD card, you know, to put the micro one in it. But since I don't have that right now, I just record off of Streamlabs, and that's really easy. But yeah, I'm gonna show you guys the editing process now. So I'm gonna put the BRB screen uh, very quickly just so I can connect my Mac because I edit on a Mac so it's funny I'm gonna connect my Mac to my PC right now which is really funny because you know they're against each other but I don't care I like using both PC is good for streaming in my opinion and Mac is really good for like video editing and music and that's which is why 
I do need it. Um, but yeah, so I'll be right back while I connect my Mac. <laughs> Chillin' is pretty sus, man. You guys, leave Basil alone. I'm gonna do that that like old YouTube like viral video, like leave Basil alone. <laughs> leave Basil leave her alone. Alright, I wanna change I wanna make sure you guys can hear. So I'm gonna make sure. Output. Oh yeah, it says HD 60s. So, very quickly, I'm gonna see. Tell me if you guys can hear this. So I'm gonna pause the music. Where is it? Pause yourself. Always oh, sus. Always oh, yes, that video. D is getting a sus rep too. Really, D? Oh y'all. Hey, back on my PC. Yeah. D is sus. No, D is six years old. <laughs> All right, I'm going to play this and tell me if you guys can hear it. I don't think you can because I can't hear it. It's morning. Or maybe it's really low. Help! Oh, I think I it's just really low because I do hear, I hear it. something. It's probably nothing. Hey, look. Pots but is it loud? Is it down. Or quiet? Let's go this way. Help! Hello? Hey, I'm stuck. Help me out of this and I'll owe you a favor. Okay. Oh, yeah, Ray, I hear it now. What are you doing? Oh, helping. <laughs> loud and clear. Okay, is it too loud? I can lower it if it's too loud. I'm so glad you guys can hear it. I connected it to the Elgato, guys. So I disconnected the switch and I connected my Mac instead. But this is the, f this is, p this part's really fun. Okay, it sounds good. I'm glad. So, a smidge lower. Okay, I'm just going to literally do a smidge. Okay. So, because I have to deal with a lot of different characters, the easiest thing to do is to separate, this is on GarageBand, and to separate each track, like they all have, they all have their own track. As you can see, look, there's, one, two, three, four, five, six. And this top one is Wurt. So it's just Greg's lines. So, I mean, wow, I just didn't say that. It's just Wurt's lines, which Michael did the voice for. So, for example, if I highlight his, you'll only hear his lines. Oh, well, usually you only hear their lines. But it, it's only this track. And I'd like to do this because usually, for example, Libby and Richard, they sent me there which is what i highly recommend so if you want to be a voice actor on my film you would just record just your lines and send it to me that way so for example look this is libby's beatrice line and this is how she sent it to me and it's just um it's loading but it's just her lines why won't you play libby's lines they don't want to load okay what do you want to play richard's lines Maybe they like Richard. Oof. Uh, they don't want to load. But it, it, they just sent me just their lines. And then on GarageBand, I put them all separately. And I go by the script. And I put them in the order that they go. It's morning. 
Should have found a town by now. Help! So it's funny. I do the audio. So this is a, t a tip or a trick. I don't know, man. Uh, you do the audio first before you even go to the iMovie. And I j literally just listen to it. I'm like, because it, it has to sound like a conversation. So it needs to flow. So like, and then it also helps to cut off. Like, as you can see, there's nothing in these little in-betweens. It's just little spaces because if they do send you one audio file, if there's no talking, your mic will usually pick up background noise. So I delete it. That's why there's so many gaps. I delete the background noise. <gasps> Aw, Maddie. No, making these videos is so fun. I love seeing all you guys. I'm just like, ah, this is so exciting. But yeah, eh, so I usually do it one by one. I do one track at a time. And so I did Wurtz first and then Beatrice because it was mainly them talking in the beginning. And then what I actually did, because I can do this because I'm like, you know, I'm editing it. After I put Wurt and Libby's Beatrice lines, I highlighted my track. And here's something really cool that I can do. So m because my track is highlighted, I can record and then hear their line. What the? And be like, oh. Oh, oh hi! So like I'm recording my lines after I heard yours. Oh, you're wearing. Like so, then you see it recorded it on my track. Now I'm gonna delete that because, you know, that wasn't a real line. But so I did that with my lines because I thought that was cool. So I would hear their lines and I just recorded mine where they belonged. And then the way you can edit them. And remember, guys, if you have any questions along the way. Please feel free to ask, because sometimes I don't know. I was very happy you guys were interested in this topic, but I don't know if like there's something that you particularly had a question about or if you were just genuinely curious. But yeah, so and then the way to edit it, and it's funny, Michael actually taught me this because he used to do, like he used to be the sound person for almost everything, but you get to play with the control board on here you're just happy listening oh and this is a lot of fun because you get to like make things sound great so uh, let me open or you know we'll do it to richard's line let's play with richard's lines so if i highlight his oops if you bring back the thing I want the audio MIDI board. There it is. So I'm gonna play Richard's lines. In costumes. Well, sure. Pumpkins can. Let me go to own. his where he had a lot of lines. Let me go to his monologue. You guys find this place as creepy Here as I do, right? So it's some kind of weird cult. Nice Your best friend has a dream okay, of being a voice actor. <gasps> oh my gosh, Maybe Michelle, that would be awesome. I'd love that. Obvi I know my films are just for fun and they won't really get help her get her leg up, but I would really love that. And, um, but yeah, I would love that. Live immediately. Now, hold on. So look, How I love, I personally love adding reverb to everything. So we're going to make, well, we, we're going we to make Richard's so voice we, very we echoey and it's going to be a lot of fun. So here's the, the reverb well, well, and I'm going to just whoop. How about, how about we just leave? Now, Look it. let me get this straight. You come to our town, trample our crops, you interrupt our private engagement, <laughs> and now you want to leave. Uh, yes? Children, it saddens me that you don't want to stay. And you can just keep playing with them, so while it plays, you can get to, like, where you want it to be. You can play with the ambiance. I told you this place was bad news. So, by the order of the Pottsfield Chamber of Commerce, Look, let's do reverb and ambiance. Destruction of property, disturbing the peace, and I sentence you to few hours manual labor. What? Wait, what? what? You can hear his New Zealand accent. I love that. But yeah, you can. This little board is it's fun. You get to play with it, and that's how you would edit it afterwards. So you, the first thing you would do is put all of them in there, and then you. 
clip them up and put them in the order and you listen to it and like sometimes I even close my eyes I'm like does this sound like a conversation does there need to be a space there and I'll just adjust them accordingly I'm surprised you could hear his New Zealand accent I love that the manual labor no that's so funny I love that part that that was the show is so it's gold the writers are wonderful and then the way you access the MIDI board is just by or the control board. I never know what they're called. I need to learn the correct names for things. But you highlight who you want to focus on. And then it, the way to clip it is really easy. Like, you know, you just like you right click and then you would click like split, you know, but that's that's something basic. I'm pretty sure it should be good. And then once I have all this together, now this it's so funny. It always takes me longer than I think like I this took me like a whole hour putting all these voices on here and then what I do is I just export it I export song to disk and I just do it as an mp4 file and then we go to iMovie okay. Oop, I need to change the where the sound is coming really quickly because it's coming out of my speakers okay it's usually in preferences that's not it that ain't it no the manual like i seriously i love this show is so good y'all if you haven't watched it yet come on you slack it what you doing oh i know why at this part here you go Ah, there you go. Now I hear it on the stream. Okay. Nicole figured it out. I Switching from PC to Mac, though, or and then Mac to PC, I'll, there'll always be little things that I'm like, ah! You're picky about cartoons and you love it. Tal, you know what we'll do, Tal? Next week, tell me when you're free and you and me on Discord will have, like, a private movie party. And, uh, and it could be during your day. I'll stay up for you. <gasps> Maddie! I'll have to. You guys. Please invite. Yes. We're going to do that. I'm going to do that next week. You tell me when. Yay. Yeah, because I have the whole I have the whole show. And then on this part. So I also get a lot of nature shots. If you need like a filler shot or a transition, nature shots are the best way to go. And essentially just go to a pretty part of your island and you're like, this would look nice in a picture. And there's your nature shot. <laughs> and then, okay, so the first audio file you see here, look, you see it says, Over the Garden Wall, Episode 2 Voices. It might be blurry on stream. I don't know. But it says, Over the Garden Wall, Episode 2 Voices. And this is what I you just saw on GarageBand. So I, I exported it as one large file, and it's all the voice actors' lines, you know. So that's there. And anything else that's green, that's extra music I put in. But that's why you would have, it's better to do the voices all in one file. Because when you come to iMovie, you only have so many slots to work with. I would not be able to import all these files in iMovie. And even then, you wouldn't be able to edit them like this. You can't add the reverb. You can't clip them. Like, it's much easier to work with the audio first. And then once you have the audio, it's actually easier to edit these scenes because then I do it as long as they're talking. So, like, there's Greg blowing the raspberries. And then Wirt says his line. Should have found a town by now. Help! I'm stuck. And then you see I I, I, I did probably nothing. that. Hey, look. Pottsfield one mile. A town. Let's go this way. Help! But, yeah, so it's much easier. So I guess that's my tip. Work on the audio first, and that way you know how long to do something. So, for example, in this scene, Greg is just, like, staring at Beatrice while she says her line. And then, when I know her line is over... Greg, what are you doing? When her line is over, I I clipped it, so then it's this next line. It makes the, the clipping a lot easier. The subtitles are... Or a beach. You were hoping Michael was going to say Pots One Field Mile. I know. Pots One Field Mile. Field mile. <laughs> That'd be so funny. That would have been a great blooper. 
pot one field mile <laughs> and i'm gonna open a new project just so i can show you guys how to clip it look at all my projects <laughs> and even then i don't save all my projects there's a few projects that i'm like i never want to see this again and i won't save it i'll submit it to like my teachers or something and then i don't save it for myself i'm like bye no thank you so let's i'm gonna import an old Animal Crossing file, just so you can see how I l do it. Let's see. What's an old... Here you go. Over the Garden Wall Episode 2 footage. So that's that footage. So this is after I filmed all of my Animal Crossing stuff. You to see the video of Nicole singing? You know what? Maybe. If someone requests a channel point, maybe I'll do it. <laughs> Actually, I have a whole like, folder of it. Look, it's it's... I go to my iCloud, finish videos. Actually, it's not as many as I thought. It's not as many as I thought, but they're here. They're oh, wait, I didn't scroll up. <laughs> there you go. I was like, it's not as many. Oh, my gosh, you guys. <laughs> okay, Um. let's see. Oh, this one's fun. This was a duet. You want to see how I... This was from last semester. Nicole had bad skin last semester. Nicole has clear skin now, oh, and she's very happy. Can I come here? Is this just going to turn no. into a watch party? <laughs> Do you want me to go? No. I'm dead. <laughs> I love you, Michelle. what quarantine's done we can't Only sing in person with our partner so now you have to do it over zoom <laughs> or over Don't video this is back in austin by the way <laughs> I have that cardigan. It's my favorite. What? Bear? I actually do like my profile. And all my, my, I used to do pageants and I would always do like side profile. This guy here is such a good singer and a dancer i'm like oh, he's so good let's see let's see would be a, a a good one. Ooh, here okay i just really like my eyeliner in this video so i'm literally gonna show you this video because my eyeliner is like i never do eyeliner and the few times i do i'm like Man, I should do more eyeliner, but I'm just lazy, so. Like, look at that eyeliner. Nicole Banks, why don't you wear eyeliner more often? Oh, my gosh. You would cheer. Oh, Maddie. I would, you know, though, when Broadway opens, I think everyone's going to be cheering because everyone's going to be so happy. Oh, my gosh. You are the Baby eyeliner quilt eyeliner crazy. queen, Michelle. One look puts the rhythm in my hand. Still I'll never understand why you hang around. I see what's going down. Cover up with makeup in the mirror. Tell yourself it's never gonna happen again. You cry a lot. Like my eyes just look nice. Like I just stare at my eyes, man. You. Do you feel like a man when you push her around? Do you feel better now as she falls to the ground well i'll tell you my friend 
one day this world's going to end as your lies crumble down a new life she has found face down in the dirt she said this doesn't hurt she said i finally had enough <laughs> You love this lip color? It's the only lipstick I own. I own two lipsticks, red and like that pink nudie color. Aw, thank you, Maddie. It's a very intense song. Trying to think. Let's see another. Guys, you wanna see when I first cut my hair short? This is what quarantine did. <laughs> I cut my hair and Michael, I surprised Michael when I did this. This was, yeah. I was like, look, my hair's short. You guys, of course. Oh, pff, pff, pff. You towel, don't play with my emotions like that. <laughs> no, but my acting is, acting is my favorite part. Because I think, I consider myself a decent singer. And <laughs> it's, like, it's not like, I, I, if I could tear everything, I'd be like acting, singing, and then dancing is like down here. <laughs> wow. Oh, Michael, you don't say. Tell Ian to watch out. I'm all flustered. <laughs> okay, we're going to watch this just for my hair. Because it's, it's... I also wore it natural. So if y'all want to know what my natural wavy hair looks like. I was trying to do the curly bangs. I look through where everything is clear. That hair, though, I know. That's my natural hair, if y'all were curious. There it is. Oh my gosh. Nom, 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 nom. What's this one? Oh, this is Ed Sheeran. Guys, look, it also used to be really long. So you saw when my hair was short, and then here it is really long. My hair goes through moods, man. Why don't you wear that every day? Oh. I'm actually, it's funny. I'm wearing, like, a black crop top, but then I'm wearing, like, pajama pants. So, bang, bang. Your hair has no body. What? Well, actually, Michelle, take your bat ears off. I want to see what your hair looks like. <laughs> so I was about to say, I was about to say something about your hair, but I'm like, wait, have I like really seen your hair though? I don't think I have. Hi, my name is Nicole Banks. I will oh, be singing I really hate slating. Ed Sheeran. My poop for this song, yeah, and it's just. <gasps> Ooh, I'll look for that slate. Go watch your Sims VOD? Hell yeah. Your poop for this song. Okay, it was poot, P-O-O-T. And our my old voice teacher used to do that to me. She was like, you have to say your poot for the song. And it's your point of view, objective, other, which is who you're talking to, and then your trigger, poot. So she made us explain it before every song so we would get like in the zone, which I actually, it didn't help me that much because I felt like, oh, I have to be presentational. So I don't know. Your hair's a bird's nest towel. I doubt that. I feel bad for cutting my hair. Michael, don't let me cut my hair anymore, please. Please. It was unhealthy, but still. Pooters. My fart for this song. My fart for this song. I have no curves though guys, I'm flat. <laughs> what are curves? <gasps> oh my gosh! Guys, that's my friend! Hi, Isa! I'm a skinny legend! Yeah. 
No Michelle, look, no curves. <laughs> Oh, but thank you guys. I want to see. I did a slate where I brought out Ham Ham. Oh, it was this one. It was Michael Jackson. Look, guys. Ham Ham when she had two eyes. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Do you also like how I'm barefoot? This was for an audition or quote unquote audition. Oh, my gosh. What The way you take songs that are... And you make them your own. Maddie, get your feet away. It was supposed to be super casual. Okay, so this was a commercial where it's a family commercial, like a family that's obsessed with Michael Jackson. And it's just like the objective was like, oh, you have to act like crazy, ca like, you know, essentially a white family that's obsessed with Michael Jackson. Let's be real. But this was get ham ham. I'm Nicole Banks, and my fun fact is I bought a hamster during quarantine. This is Ham Ham. I really hated this assignment, by the way. That's the only other lip color I own. So the lip color that I was wearing in that other one, and this is the other one. And I'm not going to play this because I did not do Michael Jackson justice. And I, again, I really hated that assignment. No, seriously, I thought that was stupid. No, I'm not playing it. I'm like, this is stupid. One, I'm disrespecting Michael Jackson. Two, I'm like, this commercial is racist. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys want to hear it? It's bad, okay? I can't do Michael Jackson. I'm white, okay? I have no soul. <laughs> I can only do Ed Sheeran. <laughs> And Avril Lavigne, I cannot do Michael Jackson. <laughs> As he came to the window, it was the sound of a crescendo. Then he came into the apartment, left the blood stains on the carpet. She ran into and I was trying to be dramatic, right? Because it's for a commercial. So she ran into the bedroom, she was struck down, it was her doom. Annie, are you okay? So, Annie, are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? Okay. I'm cringy. Annie, are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? Annie, are you okay? Will you tell us that you're okay? There's a sign in the window that he struck you. Oh, gosh, oh no, Annie. Then he came into your apartment, left the blood stains on the carpet. Then you ran into the bedroom. You were struck down. It was your doom. Annie, are you okay? So, Annie, are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? You've been hit by. You've been struck by a smooth criminal. All right. Nope. And then we're cutting that part out. I don't care how fight guys you fight for that. <laughs> you love this theater cover. Oh my god. I was I hated this assignment. I was like this assignment sucks. Why would you do this? But <laughs> thank you guys. Oh. <laughs> uh, that is it was I'll say I like bad acting though. Bad acting is fu is fun. Okay. I think we'll do one more. <laughs> one last one. <laughs> You guys are funny. Maybe I'll do one more singing video and you can see a monologue because you guys haven't seen any monologues. Only real actors can bad act. <laughs> like 10 more? Oh my God. <laughs> this is the new stream. Let's look at Nicole's old homework assignments. <laughs> You're gonna make it your ringtone? Please don't, Cat. Please don't. Please. <laughs> um, um. Let's see what, this is a commercial. Guys, I, f f you know, I'm going to curse. I fucking hate commercials. <laughs> if you see me in a commercial, just know I really needed the money. I needed the money. If you see me in a commercial, that's what that means. Animal Crossing Wedding. Yeah, it's on my Instagram, you guys. <gasps> Michael, four months. I'll just show you a little sneak peek, but. Wait. Oh, this was just the raw footage. Guys, so this was before the music. Look at all the awkward sounds. <laughs> that was before I added any of the music. It sounds so funny.
Mendicle's working at cringing at old assignments. I love that, Michelle. Guys, here's my Animal Crossing wedding with no music. <laughs> it's actually really awkward without music. What am I... Michael, I've been trying to tell you that for months. Let's get real. That's a joke. <laughs> okay. Now we gotta wait for COVID to be over, man. You thought we were married because of this video? I mean, we basically are, but we aren't. <laughs> okay, fun fact. Like, once a month, Nicole tricks all her friends and my friends into thinking we got engaged. Like once a month, she'll post something with no context that makes everyone think we got engaged. You can still propose. I know. I think, well, now I want us to wait till COVID is because I really don't want a quarantine wedding, you guys. I would think that would make me really sad. Nicole. I know I always scare them. I'll post something or like I, we have a promise ring and I'll post my promise ring. And I don't know why they haven't caught up by now, but I'll post my promise ring and they'll be like, oh, is that your wedding wing ring? And I'm like, no, guys, it's my promise ring. And you've seen it like 80,000 times. OK, if you all have seen Into the Woods, this is from Into the Woods. Please crash it, Tal. Actually, I want to get married abroad or somewhere. France. France. When he said, come in with that sickening grin, how could I know what was in store? Once his teeth were bared, though See, I See, now, looking scared, back, well, I know this is a bad camera scared. angle. It should have been higher. Close, and he swallowed me down, down a dark, slimy path, where lie secrets that I never want to know. And when everything familiar seemed to disappear forever at the end of the path, was Granny once again. So we wait in the dark until someone set us free and we're brought into the light and we're back at the start and I know things now, many valuable things that I hadn't known before. Do not put your faith in a cape and a hood. They will not protect you the way that they should. And take extra care with strangers, even flowers have their dangers and though scary is exciting, nice is different than good. Okay, y'all, I think I'm done cringing. <laughs> Guys, please, uh, let's go. Find the ticket now. I said we're gonna elope and only invite them. I mean, I'm down. It would be so much fun, and we would get so plastered. Let's go. <laughs> Except Libby and Richard, for some reason. <laughs> now, we'll pe I'll peer pressure. I'll be like, peer pressure. No, I'm just kidding. Peer pressure's not cool. Don't do that. Oh, I was gonna show you how I clip these. You guys derailed am i right it's funny so when i <laughs> going back whenever there's these like things i clip them out we gotta have a dd yes there you go olivia and richard designated drivers Jenny. yes designated driver and I, I can't drive so i'm gonna get drunk regardless Whoa! <laughs> Safety first. So guys, when there's these little things pop up, you know, when I do the emotions, I always clip it out. So I'll go really slowly to where I see it coming out. And then I split the clip. And then I slowly go to where I do the reaction. Like, look. So that moment is when it stops. I clip it and then I delete it and then look how smooth it is. Ta-da! And you don't have to see me go and click it. Libby and Richard will drink. They just need to be in the mood. I've seen it. <gasps> You've seen it, Maddie? Oh my gosh. You're going to have to tell us the story later. Sam and I can't drive, so egg. Hey, there we go. Tal, you, me, and <laughs> Sam will be like, ooh, ooh. Okay. You also won't drink, but your job will be to take videos of all y'all doing embarrassing stuff. Please, Farricade, please. So you have lots of content. I don't know what I do. 
Hello, penguin! You'll be lit! Oh! For Jenny! Ah! Bienvenido a mi stream! Fair Sam is a master. Hello, penguin! We were playing Animal Crossing, but right now we're ed we were editing a video. You're a lo loud and laughing drunk? I love that. Okay, guys. And then I think the last tip I'll show you, I'll tell you guys is I get all my music off of YouTube. And do you go to the website YouTube to MP3? You didn't hear it here because that's probably not the best, but YouTube to MP3. And that's how you get all the, the YouTube videos into audio files <laughs> and, and copyright free stuff. Oh, you need to learn how to edit. It's, it's fun. You want to see Sam drunk? He's so reserved. Okay, I feel like talking to you guys. So let's just go to this camera and let's talk. <laughs> That's hilarious. Ta That's what I do for music. That's what I do. Here, we'll play the jazz again, though. <gasps> Aw, thank you. Yes, I made it. I made it on Canva.com. But this is my talk screen. And it's it's really cute. I You get to, like... I did it all fall theme because it's, it's close to Halloween and we love it. And if y'all missed the beginning of the stream, guys, look at my Build-A-Bear. We named it... Oh, Penguin, you'll love this. So, we named the bear Calabarza. <laughs> like Calabasa, but Calabarza. <laughs> That's what we named it. Yes! Do you have your own audio for alerts? I took them off of Animal Crossing. So for example, look, I'm gonna test a widget. Let's see if it works. Like a follow. Look, I'm following. But um, I got them all off of Animal Crossing. So that was like people dancing. And then like there's the, cl the, the clapping one is Tom Nook clapping. You love a good pun. I know that was actually Farricade, was that you? You're the or was it Tal? I think it was you, Farricade, that came up with the the name. It was Farricade. Ah, yes, I remember. It was fair. Yes, I couldn't remember for a second. I was like, who was it? Oh, muchísimas gracias. Thank you. Because you need help with your audios. I got you, Boba T. I do have a script, so I will show you. Let me go back to this screen. Okay. Um, let's go to my monitor. So I'm actually going to move my stream over here so I can see you guys. And here is... Your alerts won't work. Oh, Michelle. Okay. My alerts didn't work for the first half of my... Oh my gosh, sorry, a baby just yelled. But for the first half of my streaming career, <laughs> I'm gonna say career, you have to go into streamlabs.com, if you're using streamlabs, right? Into streamlabs, did you guys hear the child? Was that just me? Did you hear it? Please tell me you heard it. <laughs> did you guys hear it? Oh my God. I was like, <laughs> Oh my god, that was loud! I feel bad. What if they hear me talking about their child? I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't believe you guys heard that. Que vecinos tienen? I have freckles, sprinkles, dom, rolled. 
Broccolo, Jacques, M Mabel, and not Mabel, Maple, and Canberra. It was so ter- Guys, I'm so surprised you heard it. I got so scared. I was like, oh shit. Um, but... <laughs> please don't make that your alert sound. Um, yes! Oh, I sprinkles is a penguin and rolled. So I have two peng- No, and I have Aurora! I have three penguins. Penguin. <laughs> Tengo tres penguinos in mi isla. Um, but Michelle, check your Streamlabs because I had a, a thing on where the alerts wouldn't come up unless I personally approved of them. So make sure that that thing is off. I can help you find it if you need to. Because if that's not off, the alerts are not going to come on. What did Boba say? A body has been discovered. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Honestly, that was that sound. Oh, but Michelle, here's my script. So there's one, two, three, four. There's five scenes. And in this episode, we have five characters. And I need a Mrs. Langtree and a Langtree. My neighbors are sus. Yes. Which one's Tex? Tex. Animal Crossing. Oh, this one. <laughs> Tex is cute. Help me too. Yes, Boba, I got you. I went through all this uh, struggles. When do I need the voices by? You know, I probably, probably, I'm gonna say Monday or Tuesday. Cause I love, I love to edit videos on the weekend. I don't know what it is about the weekend, but I love editing videos on the weekend. I don't know why. <gasps> sure. You guys, perfect. I'll send it to you guys. So I'm gonna put here. So Michelle, send to Michelle because I don't want to blast your email on here. Does anyone else want this script? And tell, okay. Perfect. So I'll, I'm gonna highlight that so I, I, I remember. And this is, by the way, like, the way I write a script, if you guys want to know some little things about script writing. And Maddie. Perfect. And Maddie. You're not it, you promise? <laughs> I don't know, it's pretty sus, Penguin. Penguino's pretty sus. Yay! Okay, thank you. But the way I write a script is really simple. It's so funny. This is a script... That is a baby of a theater script and a movie script. So the way you see this format is not correct. I just like it this way because I'm writing for myself. But if you don't, if don't look at the script and write, <gasps> it was you <laughs> and a pinguino. <laughs> You're not getting ready or anything, yeah, Tal. I saw you open Among Us. We all saw that, Tal. It was on the stream. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so this script, this, don't write a script like this. If you see my script, don't write it like that. It's wrong. Because, for example, this, the egg where I write exterior like the woods. That's from a movie script. Oh, there's Tal again. Ah! And then also the little horizontal lines. But then the way I wrote the lines here, that's how a theater script would look like. The script is for, we do little, I I make little Animal Crossing movies and you know what guys let's just watch the second one because i'm so proud of it and my friends were voice actors in it oh guys look gg subscribe the beautiful aussie goddess let's pause this so i make um exposed i write this script for i make animal crossing videos and right now i'm doing it based off over the Garden Wall, which is one of my favorite shows. And yeah, I'm just gonna let it play. <gasps> oh, thank you, Dad, thank you for following. Good morning. Should 
found a town by now. Help! I'm stuck! I hear something. It's probably nothing. Hey, look! Pottsfield, one mile. A town! Let's go this way. Help! Hello? Hey, I'm stuck! Help me out of this and I'll owe you a favor. Okay. Greg, what are you doing? Helping. Thanks, I owe you a favor. So, um, you two are lost, right? Uh-huh. How about I bring you to Adelaide of the Pasture, the good woman of the woods. She can help you get home. No, 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 no. I'm going to Pottsfield. Yeah. Hello? Hello? Hey, not to be obnoxious, but an abandoned ghost town doesn't seem like it's going to be that useful getting you guys home. There's got to be someone somewhere. <gasps> Did you hear that? What the? Oh, pardon me there. Faye, you folks ought to don your vegetables and celebrate the harvest with us. Oh, you're wearing costumes. Well, sure. Pumpkins can't move on their own. Can they? You guys find this place as creepy as I do, right? So it's some kind of weird cult. They seem nice, though. Okay, you're in denial. That's fine. Maybe I can find someone who can give us a ride home. Say, aren't you a little too... early? What do you mean? I mean, it doesn't seem like you're ready to join us just yet. I'm just looking to leave here as as fast as possible. Eh, hey, what? Leave Pottsfield? Who wants to leave Pottsfield? Oh, are we leaving already? Let's leave immediately! Now hold on. How did you boys end up in this little town of ours? Well, we, we were trying to get home. You see, we, um, so we came into town from the woods and we heard the music from the barn and well, well... How about, how about we just leave? Now, let me get this straight. You come to our town, you trample our crops, you interrupt our private engagement, and now you want to leave. Uh, yes? Children, it saddens me that you don't want to stay here with us. Particularly because I simply have to punish you for your transgressions. I told you this place was bad news. So, by the order of the Pottsfield Chamber of Commerce, I find you guilty of trespassing, destruction of property, disturbing the peace, and I sentence you to... a few hours of manual labor. What? Wait, what? what really? Th that's it? Why do they even have you digging these holes? Uh, planting seeds or something. <gasps> Maybe they're gonna bury you out here. Hey, look, a skeleton. We're digging our own. Hey, you found Larry. Welcome back, Larry. Oh, Edward, we have a pumpkin head for you. They're all skeletons. Thanks for digging up the life of the party. <laughs> what a wonderful harvest. You sure you wanna leave? Uh, yes. Yes. Oh, well. You'll join us one day. All right, so Adelaide's. Let's go to Adelaide's! Yeah. So those are me Animal Crossing videos and that's what we were, we were starting to work on today and I hope you guys, I hope it like, I hope it was like an informative but yet still fun stream. I hope I didn't like you guys <laughs> but thank you for being here. I'm so glad you liked it. Those bones look mighty fine. Where's the, where's report? <laughs> Yay! And if you guys still have any questions about anything like stream related or like even editing like a video and you can feel free also to reach out to me because this is something I find so much fun. Like I told I was telling Michael like 
I wouldn't even mind if this was my full-time job or if like I was a video editor or something. Oh, thank you for subscribing. Uh, you guys, I'm so glad you had fun because I was really worried that it wouldn't be fun. But like, I, I this is something I enjoy. Like I prefer this over my homework and everything. And I'm just like, yes, I want to do it. So you'll watch the first episode. Yay. And then the one we were working on today is episode three. So that should be out hopefully sometime next week. But you guys, this this was great. This was fun. And I, yeah, feel free to reach out to me, even if you just want to talk or something, anything. But yeah, that's going to be the, um, the end of this stream. Thank you guys so much for coming. And Maddie, yes, phasmophobia. Guys, if you haven't joined the Discord, thank you, Michelle, for reminding me before my butt forgets. Uh, let's see who we can raid. Uh, but if you guys, I'm going to put the... It was so nice meeting you too, Penguin. Eres un persona brutal. Amazing. Oh, Jenny's streaming. Perfect, Penguin. We're going to go um, raid Jenny. Yes. Oh. Okay. Okay, okay. Perfect. Perfecto. Okay. Where is it? Oh, there she is. The beautiful lady. Guys, she's streaming Phasmophobia. How perfect is this? All right. Join the Happy Island Bunch Discord if you also want to play tonight. Because we're going to be playing some games. See, sí, vamos con la Jenny. Vamos. Okay. Ready, guys? Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Oh. That is great. So thank you guys so much. I love you. You all are amazing. And see you later.